Did you know that you can tie dye with bleach? That means taking the color out of an already dyed shirt. I'm going to show you how to do it. The result is fantastic. Let's bleach tie dye a sweatshirt. You're going to need something that is a cotton or cotton polyester blend. You will need bleach, a squirt bottle, these are from Dollar Tree, some rubber bands, hydrogen peroxide, gloves to protect your hands, some plastic to protect the surface, and a plastic tub or something similar to work in. The first thing you want to do is get that sweatshirt soaking wet. You can do this in the sink. I'm doing it in a tub here. Wring it out as best you can and then lay it out on a flat surface. Similar to tie dye, we're going to use rubber bands to tie up this sweatshirt. I'm just using a really basic scrunching method, meaning I'm starting at the end of the sleeve and I'm scrunching up the fabric and I'm wrapping it in rubber bands. I eventually want the whole sweatshirt to be one concentrated ball so there's not loose pieces hanging off. Next step, protect your surface. I am working near an open window. I've got some plastic laid out and I've got this big plastic bin that I'm going to be using here. I'm going to put the sweatshirt in this bin, then I'm gonna put on my gloves and we're gonna mix up the bleach. Straight bleach could harm your sweatshirt, so we're gonna use a mixture of one part bleach, one part water. And I'm just filling up one of these squirt bottles. You can get a two pack of these at Dollar Tree. Squirt that mixture all over your sweatshirt. You want to cover the front, the back, the sides, everything. And now we're just going to let it sit. I'm going to leave this for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we can see that the sweatshirt is lightened. Now it is time to neutralize this. This is a really important step. So I've got a big bowl of water here and I'm gonna add some hydrogen peroxide. It's a roughly 10 parts water, one part hydrogen peroxide. We're gonna put the whole sweatshirt into this bowl and it essentially stops the bleach from working. So I'm just gonna soak it in there for a little bit. Then I'm gonna put it back into the bin, take the rubber bands off and rinse it really well. The next step is to wash this sweatshirt. You can throw it in the wash machine by itself or in this same tub right here. I'm just using a little bit of dish soap and I'm going to hand wash it, wring it out really well, then I'm going to throw it in the dryer and then you're ready to wear. And that is how you bleach tie dye. It is so easy. You can get really creative with different patterns and each color sweatshirt that you try is going to look different. So I hope this inspired you to try bleach tie-dyeing on your own. I want to show you what I did with this sweatshirt once it came out of the dryer. I cut a cute graphic using iron-on and my Cricut, and I added that right to the front. This is a custom Christmas sweatshirt that I am loving, and I have every intention of making some of these for other holidays as well. I hope this inspired you to try something new and go try bleach tie dyeing for yourself. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I am here every week with new craft tutorials. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.